Hello, my name is Jesus Medina, and I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which we're right, now, right now recording this. Today, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a little bit of uh, what needs to be done when you're doing your shadow slipping. Shadow slipping is just like, the, not really the opposite, but it's similar to shadow boxing, uh, shadow striking. Shadow boxing, uh, that's one where you're just going, doing your little thing, right, just nice and light, nice and light. We're going to do the same thing with, uh, with the shadow slipping, with the slipping I mean. So what that means is you're just going to be moving and slipping. Alright? The so slipping, you know, practicing on your slipping moves, alright? That's what, you're, that's what shadow uh, uh, slipping is. Alright, so this is one thing that I, I'm not saying I'm the only one that does this, but I haven't seen it in any, any other videos, any other gym uh, that does this type of, uh, uh, I guess, training so that you can basically program uh, your your students, your boxing, uh, your boxers to basically do the second nature. Uh, you might think like, oh, it's common sense that they're gonna do it. Trust me, it won't happen unless you drill it, drill it, drill it. All right. So basically, um, what it is 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 you just basically when you're when you're a uh, slipping, basically moving your head around. You wanna throw if if you're a, a right-handed boxer, your left foot should be leading. Your left arm should be reading for the jab, right? Your right hand is going to be in the back. All right, so what it's going to, what it's going to be, pretend is the head. All right, so if you're going to slip, you want to, you don't want to just move like this. Look at my shoulder, okay? You want to go like this. Reason being is you're slipping right here. All right, when you do that, right here, I got my guard on my neck, on my, on my uh, chin, all right, blocking anything else, my side right here. Uh, I, not, uh, uh, blocking my side, I mean, but I'm blocking my, my eye and everything right here. My shoulder is blocking my, my, my chin as well. All right, so right here, I'm already cocked, ready to explode and burst a hit. All right, so that's how you want to do that. You don't want to just go slip like this, all right? There's no load up, all right, right here. To come back up, you're going to hit like this. That's not a lot of power. If you go like this, you got to come back up and you can throw so much more power. All right, so today I'm going to have Warrior Steven here. He's going to help me demonstrate this, how you can drill it to your boxer. All right, so basically, so what you're going to do is uh, I'm going to be swinging to him, all right? Now he's going to be doing is just slipping and then tapping, slipping, tapping. So he's going to slip and tap an uppercut, slip and tap a hook, all right? Uh, and we're going to do it on both sides, all right? Uh, my and and uh, KO Method style, we train both sides. We don't, we don't uh, neglect one side just in case... You know, we can't use one side, there's, there's not going to stop us, it's not going to stop us, we're going to keep fighting until we're missing an eyeball or something, even then we'll still keep fighting, alright, so basically what it is, is all I'm going to do is nice and light, alright, especially if, if the boxer is new, he's not new, but he's not an expert either, he only has about, I'd say, maybe 68 hours total of actual training ever, of actual boxing training, alright, so... Uh, mind you, so he's still, this is the first time I'm going to drill this part, but I have pointed this out to him, but we'll see if there's something wrong, if there is, there is, if there isn't, there isn't, this is just a tutorial for now. Uh, so here we go, so all I'm going to do is just swing my straight, nice and light, he's going to slip it. Notice how his shoulder is way over, that shoulder is way back. What does that mean? Now he's going to load up all that, go back to normal. It's the same uh, 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 aspect, uh, come a little forward actually, for some reason I can. It's the same aspect as him being right there. Uh, right there, that, his right hand is loaded up, throw that straight to throw a huge straight. So now we're going to do the opposite. Now we're going to load up his jab side uh, when he slip and slip. Now his jab side is loaded up to throw a huge uppercut or to throw a huge hook. All right, so that's the reason why you want to come in. All right, so now I'm just going to go very light, and he's just going to, without the punching first, he's just going to dip, 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 throw that shoulder in, all right, and then just uh, throw that shoulder back once you're done. So remember, the, another thing is, I forgot to mention this, um, is that the reason why you do that is you're actually uh, building up momentum to use leverage to your advantage, or vice versa. You're building up, uh, you're setting yourself up for leverage to build up a huge load, uh, set of momentum to hit a huge freaking hit. Uh, so here we go, nice and light. Uh, and then, mind you, you want to go into repetitive motion because it's easier with that repetition to record in the brain, ligaments, tendons, body, everything. Uh, so here we go. Uh, stand a little closer to me, right there. Uh, so here we go. Now this, uh, I'm drilling, all right, I'm, I'm digging, all right, I'm going in realistically, all right, and then he's just stepping over. Alright, let's go this way. 
as far back as possible. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm shooting at his face and he's still slipping. So see, his head is right there and I'm shooting right there. All right, so I'm not doing like all these other gyms do, all right? Uh, that doesn't give him any danger. It does not, he's not gonna. He's gonna barely just move naturally. Naturally, he's barely gonna move. Why? Because he doesn't have to. All right. If he moves a lot, he's wasting energy. Naturally, he's gonna feel that he's wasting energy. But if you go close to him, he's gonna move what he has to, and he doesn't feel. He feels, you know, fulfillment. Basically, that he's really doing the right thing properly. All right. Which gives builds up confidence. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see what else. What else? Uh, all right. So. Now we're going to go ahead and drill the actual uh, uppercut, a few uppercuts, then we're going to drill a few hooks, and then we're going to drill a double, where it's hook, uppercut, hook, uppercut. All right, you really don't want to do the, the uh, hook and then uppercut because it's, it's, uh, it's not practical. You're, you, don't, you're, you don't get the proper momentum. If you're going like this, and then you're going to have to come down back this way. All right, if you go this way, boom, you're already coming naturally, right? You don't waste any momentum because you have to come back up to position yourself to hit again to properly. All right, if you go this way, you're staying down here and you're more susceptible. It's, it's, it's just too much, it's, uh, whether how, doesn't matter how fast, how quick, how experienced you are, it's still more risk than doing the opposite, meaning hitting uppercut and then the hook. It's just the way the body moves, uh, 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 it's created, right? So you're gonna do the uppercut and then all you need to do is side crunch again over here and then right here you throw the hook. All right, if you throw the hook, there's really no side crunching, you gotta go, down and then come over and then hit. All right. So if you go like this, see, it's too many movements. If you go, bam, it's just two for the most part. Two movements opposed to three. You can't tell me that's not a higher risk if you throw the hook and then the uppercut. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna do nothing but the uppercut right now, nice and smooth. So boom, yeah. All right. So notice how I'm going like this, and this one's here. All right. See how it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a target. Uh, you don't want to. Uh, um, just leave it, uh, I mean, uh, have it like this or, or just freaking uh, have it like this. It's not proper. He needs to create the proper wall because he needs to hit uppercut wise so that his fist, the wall on his fist hits flush and solid. All right, here we go. Look how close it is to my actual chin, all right? That's very realistic. Most of you guys, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. A lot of gyms out there, they do this. Look how far away it is from my body, right? That's not realistic. Do it again. Do it again. And then hit it like that. That's not realistic, right? Just leave it here and then just apply pressure down so that he can feel the realistic uh, uh, resistance, I guess you can call it. Go ahead. Good. So see, now it's realistic. Look how close it is. I, I, you got to trust your, your uh, student. If not, why do you have them in your gym? Come closer a little bit. Here we go. Good. I can feel that's a nice little snap you have. And look at how he comes back, ready, go ahead. If I were to swing, he is blocked, but we're not working on that. If that really if to, were to happen, show what you would do. And I swung for reals, far as hell, and I completely missed him, and he barely moved back. But the thing is, he slept back. He didn't just stay there like I showed you a little while ago. Anyways, here we go. Two more. Two more, last one. Let's show him on this angle so you can see that I'm really swinging at your head. All right, so. All right, so I'm swinging at his head, all right? I'm not swinging way out of the, out of the way. Now let's do the hook. A nice and light at first. Good. Notice, again, I'm going like this. I'm not showing the target until he slips, and then I bring it up so that he can hit, all right? Because why? That's why, I don't know if you guys 